No! Welcome back, reactors. We got a new episode of The Bad Batch. But before we dive into this reaction video, make sure you guys go check out my season three, episode one reaction to The Mandalorian. That is on the channel right now. It's linked right above me. It's linked in the description and will be linked at the end screen of this video. I enjoyed that first episode of The Mandalorian, so I am very excited to see if this will be another good week of The Bad Batch with this new episode, season two, episode 11. Man, I enjoyed last week's episode, so I'm eager and excited to continue this journey with the Bad Batch. Like this video, hit that subscribe button, because it's time to read it in. Whoa. We starting off the episode like this? Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like there is a beast on board. Some type of monster. Bro, if you don't continue to run, I don't even know where you're running from. Oh, it's above him. It's behind you. Now that is an intro. <laughs> Welcome, Doctor. Notify me once our remaining vessels arrive, and see to the transfer of the assets. Have the cargo taken below. Okay, where's the Bad Batch? <laughs> or is this going to be another episode without the Bad Batch? Because with the trend that's going on with Season 2, the episodes without the Bad Batch have been really good. <laughs> Mistress Say. Dr. Hemla. Why does someone so talented prefer to rot in a cell instead of using their gifts to better the galaxy. I am not especially motivated after the Empire destroyed my civilization. Know that your research remains intact. Just not run by her. Perhaps you require the right incentive. Know that I'll be taking over operations here on Tantus, and I can do far worse than confine you to a cell. That's a threat. We lost communication with Transport 904. Have the recovery teams begin a search. We need that asset contained. I like where this episode is going. There's the Bad Batch. Not sure what's got you all twisted up in knots. We were stranded on that planet, Sid. We needed you. Thank you, I'm glad they are addressing this. Do you want to mope? Or make money. Shut up, Because Sid. I got a tip on a downed ship, which means cargo ripe for the taking. Ah. Uh. Don't come back unless you scavenge something valuable. What makes you think we'd come back at all? Don't test me, Bandana. Just get it done. <laughs> Severing ties with Sid could be problematic. Please do that. Cut the ties with Sid. Move on from her. No ship transponder code, a indication of what caused it to crash. Just go in thinking the worst. That's the best you can do. Just think about the worst. <sighs> Every job that Sid gives him is never easy. So expect the worst. Based on the severity of the impact and the lack of communication signals, the crew aboard most likely perished. We don't know for sure. They could be trapped inside. They really need bigger flashlights. I think I mentioned that in last week's episode. <laughs> These small flashlights just don't do. Something unfortunate happened here. I will get the power restored and check data logs on the bridge. By yourself? Your concern is not warranted. <laughs> this man, tech! It's their cloning technology, but this configuration is different than anything I saw in Topoka City. What type of monster is this? Still rerouting the reserve power. Stand by. The grid should be restored momentarily. <laughs> Tag, you better start running. Danger. 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 What happened? <laughs> what attacked this ship? You asking too many questions. These are reinforced walls. What were they keeping in here? 
So the question is, how big is this thing? Oh, what's that sound? Whoa. Oh my God. No. Oh, it's, it's like small. That thing eats anything. Run. Oh, never mind. That thing's actually like, you know, kind of big. This feels like some alien movie. <laughs> I'm getting vibes of the alien and the predator. Mainly the alien. Oh, golly. Oh, it's getting bigger! Fascinating. Get off the ship and keep it on the ship. Whoa. Golly, did I jinx it? Oh, I definitely jinxed it. <laughs> I said keep it on the ship. Oh, that's not good, man. We're the ones who let it out. We have to neutralize it before it hurts anyone. Put that thing down. Given the fact that the crew was most likely eaten by the creature, I doubt it is currently hungry. It ate the crew? Come on, Omega. You you know that. I know my way around Kamino and Tick. Go. Rekka, with me. Omega and Tech teaming up again. Don't start a forest fire. Wow! No. I think jumped on top of the ship. That's wild. Like I said, this thing feeds off electricity. How big is this thing going to get? This confirms that the species feeds on energy, right. which propels its rapid growth. You mean it'll get even bigger? Yes. Bruh, if this thing turns into Godzilla, <laughs> that'd be nuts. You must not let it get near the power grid, or it will increase exponentially in size. It's already there. Ah, look at that! Too late. Wow. I need to shut my mouth. I've been jinxing it. This thing is like getting close to the size of Godzilla. Shoot, destroy the power grid first. Take that out. Whoa. Wow. They just barely got out of there. I did nothing. Never mind. That did something. They're not killing it. They're taking it. Let's yeah. not be next. For their advantage. There you go, Wrecker. Way to get out of there. I believe this this beast showed up in Clone Wars. Man, it's been forever since I've watched Clone Wars. I might have to rewatch it all over again. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing. The crashed vessel was part of an Imperial cloning operation. The Empire cloned the Zillow Beast? The directive came straight from the Supreme Chancellor before he became Emperor. What's he want with it? The creature's genetic material has the potential to be weaponized in the hands of the right scientists. Mm. Send the data to Echo and Rex. See what they can find out. Will they respond? That's the question. She misses Echo! Did any of the villagers see the cell? Yes. Yes. However, one vessel escaped our assault. It was a military class shuttle. Find out who it was. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, this is going to be a part two. We're getting another part two to an episode. Why have I been brought here? <laughs> Nalase's defiance is problematic. If you fail to convince her, it won't be long before you are in a cell like me. Hmm. Wow. There is a particular clone you must locate. A young girl. Omega. It seems we have much to discuss. Oh, I'm liking where this is lead. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I'm liking where this is going. I don't know. I said this might turn into a part two of an episode for next week, but I have a feeling that this might be, you know, the there's 16 episodes. This is episode 11. So who knows? Maybe these last, you know, overall five episodes are going to be surrounded by this story. I don't know. We shall see. I enjoyed this episode, though. I enjoyed this episode. But I can see this playing out for the rest of the season. That's basically what I'm saying. But you guys need to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Season 2, Episode 11 of The Bad Batch. Like I said in my closing reaction, I can see this playing out the rest of the way closing out this season. I mean, they gotta pass this information on to Echo and Rex, so I'm eager to see what they come back with. But yeah, I, I do remember, I believe they called it the Zillow Beast, right? Uh, I could be wrong. Um, but you guys can tell me, as always, in the comments and share your thoughts. But I believe that showed up in the Clone Wars season. I believe so. It's been quite a very long time since I've watched the Clone Wars, but it wouldn't be a bad thing to, you know, revisit. But seeing that thing grow to that size, I was like, wow. But uh, yeah, the Bad Batch stood no chance against that thing. They had to get on out of there. But this is a big story at hand. We only have a few more episodes left to end off season two. And we have ourselves a very big story. But that ending uh, convo about how they need Omega. I mean, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to play out, but I am highly invested. Um, definitely not a filler episode, um, like some people would claim that the past few episodes have been. But uh, we got ourselves a very big episode with this one. I mean, man, today is a great day to be a Star Wars fan. Like myself, today is a great day. A good episode of The Mandalorian Season 3 and... Another good episode with The Bad Batch, but this is a quick review. Um, I can't wait to reel in uh, next week's episode of The Mandalorian, but not only that, episode 12 of The Bad Batch. I can't wait. I mean, I, I, I have no idea what's going to happen in the next episode, but I am invested, and now I am excited. But yeah, that concludes episode 11 of The Bad Batch Season 2. Man, we are on a strong start. I've been enjoying season two um, a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, I can't say if it's better than season one at the moment, but I'll let you guys know that by the end of season two. But as of right now, I'm enjoying season two way more than I thought I would. But I'm eager to hear you guys' thoughts. Like this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on the next reaction that hits this channel. But yeah, I can't wait to reel in another Wednesday for double the Star Wars content next week. So I'll see you guys then. This is Reel It In Reactions. I'm Reel It In Miles. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.